All right, so today on the bench, we've got this Galaxy DX979F, and this is from the factory, uh, bought new, and I pulled it out of the closet today, stuck it on the bench, and you know, it's not exactly on frequency, especially on sideband. So I figured I'd go through it and see if I can get it aligned a little better. And we are just starting the alignment now. Got our alignment info here. And we're aligning the PLL circuit. And just after, I guess, about 10 minutes here, we see what our frequency's at. This is our AM offset. And we started at 111 hertz off, and we're down to... Uh, 75 hertz off so that's how much has drifted in just 10 minutes so I'm just gonna let it sit here about uh, 20 more minutes before we start the alignment and then hopefully we can get her uh, receiving and uh, talking a little better than she is now you know one thing I did notice though and look at those coils and that's from the factory I thought that was interesting I don't know if I'm gonna try to to squeeze those back together or not probably just leave them alone we'll see how it looks we'll see if she's splattering or anything like that on on uh on the spectrum analyzer when we get to that point but all right so we'll be back after this thing is warmed up all right so we're back and we got the pll adjustment done here in the service manual and she is now just spot on and I'll let you hear what she sounds like on transmit later. But anyway, uh, moved on to the receive, and she's doing really well. Um, right now, we're at one microvolt minus 107 dB, and she's showing 18 dB of Synad, and I kept pushing her down. So let's go lower. Let's go to minus 120. So now we're at minus 120 dB, and she's still showing 18. And I wasn't sure if I believed that or not. Uh, minus 125 still showing 18 that's just amazing so let's let's swap over to uh, we're going to go to the sign adder up there I'm just curious whether or not that's actually accurate let me hook this up we're going to hook up to our sign adder I like using the sign adder I bought this off of uh, eBay and rebuilt it. And look, yeah, she's showing 20 dB right now, and we are at minus 125 dB. When we're doing this on lower sideband, 27.1840 megahertz. I told you, I mean, after this PLL alignment, she is just spot on. Look at those ears, minus 120 dB, and she's holding that. Looks like about 18 dB of synad. No, I'm sorry, minus 125 dB, and she's holding 18 dB of synad. So let's just see what we can push her down to. Uh, how about minus 130? Look at that. Holy cow. 16 dB of synad, maybe? At minus 130 dB. All right, I'm not even sure how low this, in amplitude, this uh, HP 8920 will go. Let's try minus 135. Yeah. Wow. Minus 135 dB, and she's still holding at 16 dB of Synod. That is absolutely crazy. But, hey, book alignment in the PLL section to the letter. And that's what we were able to do with this. And I haven't even touched the receiver as far as tuning any cans. That is absolutely crazy. Well, shit, I'm not touching anything. All right, well, we'll be back. We'll get this uh, lined up as best we can on single sideband, and then we'll go from there. All right, so we're back with a two-tone test here, and we're going to generate our two tones at 30 millivolts peak and we're going to watch her on the scope so she's she's pretty linear this is the waveform she's presenting and she was a real mess before him i mean totally flat topped i mean the the uh the waveform was an absolute mess but that's how they all seem to come from the factory so she's a lot more linear than she was that's for sure and power wise i think she's doing 
Well, let's see what she's doing average. So let's look at her average on SSB. So she's doing about, uh, what is that, about 7 watts average. And what are we showing on the, uh, let's look on here. Let's compare all three. All right, receive test or transmit test, and let's go to 27.1840 megahertz, and we'll see what she's doing. So, yeah, 13, 13.7, so about 14 watts peak, which makes perfect sense. And what's our calibrated IFR 1200 showing for peak? Let's look at that. If you can see it, uh, she's pegging out at 15 watts peak. Yeah, she's showing 20, but this is also calibrated. So I'm going to go off that. So she's set up pretty clean. Uh, last thing we can do is look at her on a spectrum analyzer and see what she's doing there. Let me see if I can set that up real quick. Okay, moving this over to here. All right, so we'll just look at her. This is set up for 27.1850 megahertz here. First harmonic 54, second harmonic 108. But we're on lower side band, but we'll look at it anyway. Oh, she's got a little bit of a bump here. Right there. Let's look at her on AM. Okay, we'll go back to AM. Let's change our tone back here. Give me a second. Uh, output set up. And we're going to go to channel one. one. Alright, so now we're back to a single one kilohertz tone on AM. And we've got no bump. Alright, not looking bad. How about an AM waveform? Let's see. Alright, so now we're going back in the oscilloscope on AM. I did a little bit of a modulation adjustment. She was just slightly over modulated. And there she is looking beautiful. Alright. Uh, how about we take her onto a spectrum analyzer and we look at that waveform or that uh, emission on at a 5 kilohertz span here so five channels wide nice and clean let's push that down to three channels yeah she's clean I don't know where that bumps at but she's clean all right well I think she's set up pretty decent I mean compared to what she was doing from the factory what a huge difference Oh, and as far as drift, uh, she drifted about 75 hertz down in 25 minutes. So when, in the first segment of the video, I hooked her up and she was about 111 hertz off starting the PLL alignment. I just let it set, sit for uh, 25 minutes and she had drifted down in frequency 75 hertz. And once she was stable, I went ahead and made, uh, did the alignment and she came out spot on. So, uh, we'll get her uh, flipped over and uh, do a transmit test next. Let me get set up for that. All right, so we hear a little skip coming in here. And uh, so what got me started on this whole process... Uh, I guess really last night when I pulled it out of the closet was uh, a couple of things. One, when I was listening to Skip, I had to have the clarify over here like the two and a half, almost three o'clock position to be uh, on frequency, which really bothered me. And also the frequency display was shown um, at 27,386, <coughs> excuse me, on lower sideband versus 385. And it was like that across the whole uh, band. So that's what got me into doing a um, uh, an alignment on this and you know galaxy radios from the factory are not aligned all that great um, I don't know why that is you would think they would as many as they produce that they would do a better job of it but uh, I, I don't know I can't even speculate 
but just having a solid solid PLL foundation has brought this thing all back into alignment and it sounds great and receives like a monster. I mean, I can't even believe uh, this thing pulled out a hundred and at a minus 135 dB, uh, 16 dB of Synad. That's just absolutely amazing. Amazing ears. And uh, you can still see the needle rocking there. Yeah, so she is back up 12 o'clock on the clarifier. Hey, wave it, dude. And she's doing what she should be doing. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, yeah, I've got a, probably two or maybe three of these 979 Fs. I can't remember. Um, but uh, yeah, fantastic little radios. And this one, like I said, what a received monster. No funky mods, no shotkey dials, just all stock with a nice, good taking my time factory alignment and it is just got amazing ears so yeah um she's a great little radio so uh again brand new brand new from the factory and uh you know what i forgot that um slight bump in the spectrum analyzer we saw over there on uh, sideband might have been because of those spread coils in the back that i for completely forgot to address uh, that's probably what that was, but you know what? Covers are back on it. I'm not really all that worried about it right now. Maybe next time I have this thing back out of the closet, uh, we'll uh, address that. So it'll probably sit here on the bench for a couple days, and I'll play with it, and I'll swap it out with something else again. Um, I did get that uh, President AR-144 from my last video where I was showing the new uh, frequency counter. Um, I got that recapped and aligned and it's also a sideband monster uh so might do a might do a, a video on that at some time uh sometime soon we'll see but anyway cheers and 73s everybody out there